Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how to bring up a secret menu on your iPhone 10 by triple pressing on your power button. So the power button is right here, and I'm going to triple press it right now, one, two, three, and as you can see, a menu just popped up known as the Accessibility Shortcuts, and it's got a, a bunch of various little uh, functions here that I'm going to go over. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually enable this menu. What you want to do is you want to go to the settings, then you want to go to general, and then you want to go to accessibility, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see something called accessibility shortcut. You tap on this thing, and then simply enable all these functions. Now, with that shortcut uh, menu that just popped up earlier, I could have uh, disabled some of the functions. It's going to be up to you to customize what you want to see. So if I uh, triple press it right now, one, two, three, it's going to bring up only three functions that I selected right here. I'm just going to keep all of them right now, uh, except the switch control and the voiceover. Maybe we'll keep the zoom. And let's take a look at some of the things we can get done uh, using this secret menu that pops right up. All right. So the first one is, let's triple tap it. You can tap on assistive touch and it brings up the assistive touch uh, button here that can float on the screen. Uh, if you tap on this button, you can have this button anywhere, okay? If you tap this button, it expands and it gives you all these beautiful options, uh, options such as the ability to bring down notifications, okay? So if you tap that, the notifications comes right down. And then if you tap it one more time, uh, you can tap on the control center. That brings the control center. So instead of swiping down from the corner here, uh, you can just tap this button and you can bring up the control center, all right? And uh, you can do a lot more with this. Now, uh, as you can see, you can even bring up Siri if you desire. Uh, let me cancel that for a second. Tap it again, go to device. You get even more functionality. You can lock the screen, rotate the screen. Uh, you can actually bring the volume down or the volume up. You can mute the phone or unmute it. And you can even tap on more and you get various options uh, such as the ability to bring up the multitasking pane just by tapping this. Uh, multitasking will come right up okay again let's go in here go to more uh, you can uh, emulate shaking your device uh, you can tap this one it's going to take a screenshot and of course um, with this one I'm gonna go and let you play with it but I'll show you one quick thing in regards to uh, one two three uh, the assistive touch which is this thing right here now by the way if you want to disable this you just tap this it disappears Okay, now let's go to settings really quick. Let me go back out here uh, to accessibility. Uh, over here, uh, go into assistive touch. From here, you can also enable this menu, the same thing we just did using that secret menu. Uh, what you can do with this menu here is you can customize it completely. So I can tap on this guy and I can, as you can see, this is the radial menu that appears exactly as it is right here. But I can actually take things off uh, keep just one thing if I wanted to, so I can pick all these different options. Uh, for example, I can have the screenshot here. Click Done. Uh, let me click one more here. Choose. Uh, let's just tap Home. So now I can I can have the same menu, but it only has two options. Okay, so you can do the same thing. Uh, you can do this customization uh, with the assistive touch. So when you enable it from this menu, after triple tapping, uh, it comes up exactly as you need it. So that's the first thing. Let's take a look at the second thing over here. Oops. Triple tap. Now, if you double tap the power button, it brings up the uh, Apple Pay. So make sure you uh, triple tap it to bring this one up. Now, this one actually inverts the colors, the color scheme uh, on your entire phone. So if I tap this one, boom, you've got an inverted look on our phones. If you go to the menu, it's all black and white uh, all the way through. Uh, it could get a little weird because when you go into your apps, everything is inverted. Uh, so what you want to do is, again, triple tap this, uh, disable classic invert. And what you want to do is you can use the smart invert, which inverts some parts of your uh, the color scheme, but it doesn't affect everything. So if I tap on smart invert, boom, we've got this one right here. If I do go to the menu, it's still black and white. As you can see, everything makes more sense. But if I do go to the clock, it retains its usual uh, uh, coloring scheme, which is black background and white text. This is what it should be looking like, as opposed to when you do a total inversion, 
everything gets inverted. Now let's press it one more time. Again, if you want to disable anything, you just tap this guy, it disables it. And let's take, take a look at the other two, one, two, three. Uh, you have the color filters and you have reduced white, white point. So let's tap on color filter, see what happens. As you can see, it turns into a black and white display. So right now, your iPhone is going to be completely in the grayscale mode. No matter what I do and what I launch, it's going to be black and white. Black and white. All right. Go to the mail. Black and white. So let's tap this one more time. Disable the color filters. And then you can do reduce white point, uh, which basically just uh, reduces the intensity of the white uh, on your device. So it's less strain on your eye. So let's tap that real quick. As you can see, the brightness, it's not the brightness that went down really. Uh, the, the pronunciation of the white color actually goes down and it uh, puts less strain on your eyes. All right, so let me triple tap this one more time. Tap it again. We're back in business. Again, remember, if you want to enable this thing, you can bring up the menu by triple tapping the power button. And what you want to do is you want to go to general. Uh, you want to go to accessibility. And all the way at the bottom, you have the accessibility shortcut you tap on this thing and you make sure you enable whatever you want now if, let's say you enable all of them and let's say that you use the assistive touch and the you know reduce white point point more than the others you can also rearrange the order so you can grab the reduce white point and you can put it up here so now you have assistive touch reduce white point and if you don't use this one at all right here you can put it all the way at the bottom all right now when i bring up the menu it's going to follow the exact custom order that I just created. All right. Now, just one more thing I want to show you guys in relation to this functionality, uh, especially in relation to assistive touch, is this. So let's go to settings really quick. Uh, let me go back to the actual assistive touch menu, and I'm going to show you what I like to do. So assistive touch, and then you go to customize top level menu. I like to take off everything and just assign one function to my assistive touch functionality. And in this case, I'm just gonna use screenshot as an example. And here's what I like to do. So when I go back out, let's say I wanna take a screenshot. Normally you have to press the power button and the volume down button at the same time to take a screenshot, uh, which could be a pain in the ass sometimes. So here's what I like to do. Quickly triple tap the button, bring up assistive touch, boom, you press it. When you assign one functionality to the assistive touch function, when you press it, it doesn't expand the menu, it just takes that screenshot, as you can see. So you can keep this button if you want, anywhere on the screen, uh, and just assign one functionality to it. So if I press it again, it takes the screenshot, and if you tap on this, uh, as you can see, the actual button does not appear on the screenshot. So clearly it's not as stupid as to put that actual button on your screenshot because it wouldn't look normal. Uh, the other thing you can do is go to settings again. Uh, let's tap on screenshot and tap on home. Now what you can do is you can use this as a home button, a standalone home button. So if I go to the calendar here and if I just tap on this, it will take me back onto my home screen. And also if I double tap it, uh, it acts as the home button that you find on all the other iPhones that actually have a physical home button. It can bring up the multitasking pane. And again, you can put this thing anywhere you want. But uh, basically, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, you can assign one single functionality to this guy. And then when you don't need it, you just triple tap it, this thing, and you make it go away. When you do want to use it, you can bring it back, keep it on as long as you want, and then let it go again. All right, and that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. And if you do use Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below. And by the way, if you are looking to buy a nice looking and protective case for your iPhone 10. I do recommend the Spigen case, which is the one I've been using throughout this video and I use it on a daily basis for the iPhone 10. The reason I like it is threefold. It's cheap, around $10, it is protective but not too bulky, and it offers a pretty nice design on the rear. 
I dropped a link down below for you to go check it out. So if you do like what you see, you can go grab one for yourself.